another edition of Telegraph Herald. More on the score, presented by Dubuque Bank and Trust and Dubuque Auto Plaza. I am your host, Steve Ortman. We are on location this week, a beautiful day here at Dyersville Beckman High School as the Trailblazers football team gets prepared for their homecoming game this Friday night against the Port City Union. I am joined today by Beckman coach Jim Durr. How are you doing, Jim? Doing real fine. Thanks. A former Telegraph Herald Coach of the Year, by the way. Yeah, thank you. And uh, the Blazers now sitting 2-2 two and two overall. Looked real well in a couple games. Big win over Waterloo Columbus this past Friday night. A couple losses, though. Some struggles now as you guys really get into the heart of district play. What's going to be the key for you guys now here moving forward? Well, it's kind of like you said. You, we've looked very, very good at times, and there are times that we knew we uh, didn't put our best foot forward on some of those games. So uh, it's really going to be to stay more consistent. Uh, definitely... Uh, keep individuals healthy, but also to get some uh, people back in our lineup that have been a little uh, dinged up and banged up at times. So uh, we look like we're moving in that direction, but really it's just a matter of coming out and just playing Blazer football. Sure, and uh, going to be a lot of energy coming on to homecoming. There always is. You know, what are going to be some of the things you're looking for from this team against Union on Friday? Yeah, I mean, homecoming is always kind of a, a double-edged sword sometimes for a coach. You know, it's real exciting, uh, a lot of activities. But with that comes a lot of distractions as well. So, uh, you know, we're talking a lot about being able to stay focused and uh, being able to, to go out and, and play our style of football. So uh, that's what we're getting prepared for. i uh, got a very strong team coming in with Laporte City Union. Uh, they're highly ranked, and uh, they do a lot of good things. They really do. But uh, uh, like I said, if we can uh, come out and show up like we know we're capable of doing, uh, we, can, we can do some very good things too. So we're looking forward to that opportunity. All right. Well, it should be a good ball game on Friday night here at Beckman. Uh, that's going to do it for Jim Durr. But uh, thanks a lot, Coach. I appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah, and uh, yep, and we're going to bring on now Beckman kicker Ben Palmer. Ben, come on over here and join me. Uh, two-year two-year kicker now for the Trailblazers football team, and uh, you've been a uh, a big part of the Beckman soccer teams. Have had a lot of success, winning some state championships. Mm -hmm. What's it been like having that success, and uh, what made you want to come carry it over and be a part of the football team? Oh uh, well, it's really great. Um, I've always been playing soccer, and uh, after I got hurt uh, sophomore year. I thought I'd try kicking out, and um, just because I've, I've always played soccer, so I knew I kind of could do it, you know. But um, and then uh, sophomore year, I got hurt, tried it junior year, and uh, coach let me try it out, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So now, now, do you remember when was the first time you really remembered you were you were pretty good at kicking a soccer ball, a football? I mean, you got a pretty good leg. Um, I'd say beginning of junior year, I, I mean, I've always been able to kick a soccer ball pretty far I guess but I never really thought about uh, trying to kick a football and then um, one of my friends Luke uh, said that there was a spot open so I kind of just tried it out. Sure now now when you go from kicking a soccer ball to a football did it kind of come naturally or did you have to work at it a little bit? Um, There's a couple struggles right away um, but coach McCoy helped me out a lot and taught me a correct way to do it so it came pretty easily. Sure. Now, I saw earlier this season you, you kicked a 44-yard field goal against Western Dubuque. Um, is that the deepest one you've been able to hit? Uh, yes, in a game so far. Yeah, and uh, now the record, I believe, is 49 yards. You kind of got your eye on maybe trying to break that thing this year? That would be pretty cool, yeah. I'd like to do that. Yeah, so uh, I was there at Western Dubuque, saw you, a great field goal kicker. You know, I always wanted to try it. Do you mind showing me the ropes a little bit and having a little kickoff? Sure. All right, let's do it.
Yeah, baby. Oh. Rock spike. Oh. Touchdown. That's how it's done.